Welcome back everybody to another tutorial. This is Slice Slime. So what we're going to be looking at today is the order in which Redstone updates. So let's take a look around with uh, 3up. We have positive z that way, positive x that way. So let me just do set block three blocks away and let's set that to stone. Now, if we take a redstone block and we place that under here, we get a stone block here. Now, the question is, if I surround this block with command blocks, as will often be the case if you're maybe not completely surrounding a block, but often you'll have blocks around it, which ones of these will execute first? And you can keep testing it, uh, but it is fairly important to remember. So let's actually figure this one out. So I'm looking towards positive x, which means this one block is the one in the most negative x coordinate. So I'm going to claim that this one is going to happen first. Uh, and then I'm going to say this one is going to happen second. So first the most negative x block, then the most positive x block around this one. So let's fill these in. Then the most negative y block, which is going to mean the, the bottom block, and then the most uh, positive y block, or the highest y block. So that's the top block. And then we have the c blocks left, so if you're looking towards positive z, this is the most negative or lowest z block, and this is the highest. So my claim is now that if I replace this with a redstone block, these things are going to come out as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there you go. So why is this important? Well, assume that we were going to build some form of more complicated mechanism. So I would have a fill command here. And uh, let's say I fill um, three blocks here with redstone blocks. And let's see, let's again well, we can just place a red a redstone block on the outside of this. Now, there's going to be... So let's run it with stone first. So we're going to get all of these blocks. Now, in which order are th everything around this going to execute? So we have all these possible blocks. This one is likely going to be the second part of a fill clock in this configuration, but we also have oops, we also have blocks here, 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 and here. So in which order are these all going to execute? Now I would love to tell you that they all just execute down the line, and they kind of do, but uh, the sad reality is that it's going to depend on which direction this fill clock is, is orientated. So this fill command is going to update from the closest block here, the lowest uh, z, to the, the highest z. So it means it's going to fill these from that side to this side, and each and every one of these blocks are going to execute in the same order that we just uh, went through there. So, looking towards positive x, this one is going to execute first. Well, we can't really do anything about that one. This one is going to execute second. Remember then y, so it's x, y, z. This one, this one, and then z. So this one at the end is going to execute as the fifth block. And now there isn't any command block under, under this one, uh, because then that would, would be replaced. But if you actually had one, that one would execute now. <laughs> so weirdly enough, that one would be the sixth one. Since we don't have one, uh, we're going to move on to the next block. 
So again, positive x first. This one is going to be number 6. This one is going to be number 7. Whoops. This one is going to be number 8. This one is going to be number 9. So, if I'm right and I place this redstone block, what should happen is an output of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, if I fail with the correct blocks, <laughs> that is. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, that was simple enough. The strange thing with this is that this block sort of executes out of order in between these. Now let's make a fill clock, uh, or similar, in the other direction. So again, let's place down a block, but instead of filling in the z direction, let's fill in the x direction. Uh, stop. So, now the clock is, the fill clock is directed that way. Again, there we go. So now we have uh, this setup. Again, we're going to be executing from low to high in the fill command. So the fill goes from low x to high x. So let's start. We are executing the block that is under this one. What happens first? The first one is actually the one on the edge now because we're going x first. So this one is going to be first and then we don't have any on the other side of the executing block so we're gonna have this bottom one second, this top one third. Now we're gonna run from low to high z. So this one is going to be fourth, and this one is going to be fifth. Now, this time, uh, we keep moving, and now the bottom one is first. So this is number six. Uh, wait. Yep. Yeah. Seven. Eight. Nine. So let's place this block and see what the output is. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you don't know about this update order, you will have a hard time placing your blocks right because if you have a fill clock like this aligned towards positive z, along the z-axis, then the side blocks execute before the top and down blocks. But if you have one like this aligned along the x-axis, the vertical blocks execute before the horizontal blocks, the side blocks. And of course you can complicate it even further by filling a rectangular area and using like all the command blocks on top or bottom or on the sides of that, and you get the same. The thing you need to remember is that everything executes from low to high. And that goes even if you inverse these coordinates. So if I would uh, fill this way, the fill command would still internally execute with from low x to high x, rather than the other way around. It doesn't matter which order you set them to. Also note that if you're just doing pure redstone, none of this matters at all. Because you're, you're dealing with... Um, None of normal redstone is fast enough for this to have any effect. But if you're dealing with command blocks that do a lot of scoreboard operations on the same things, you really need to be certain that your updates come in the right order. And just remember, from low to high, and it's X, Y, Z. Always. And then you will be fine. The only thing you need to remember in addition to that is that when you're running off fill clock, it's XYZ for each filled block. Again, from low to high along the fill axis. So that was a very, very technical tutorial. If you're learning command blocks and you're starting to do like fairly complex things, then this is kind of important knowledge. And if so, I, I hope it helped you out and you found it informative. As always, thank you for watching, 
and I'll see you next time.